Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Remember, maybe a year or a year and a half ago, I made a prediction that every single year on January 6th, on the quote, anniversary of January 6th, Democrats were going to turn it into this big event, the January 6th anniversary. Typical Democrat games, Democrat drama, Democrat theater. Well, I'm not some genius for predicting that. Obviously, that's exactly what Democrats Democrats were going to do, they're going to milk it till there's nothing left. And of course, that's exactly what we're seeing. My January 6th, my insurrection. First of all, I don't even know where the hell these people get off. Calling the January 6th protest an insurrection. Nobody has been charged with insurrection officially. There was no attempted coup, yet they continue to label it as such. But anyways, here we go again. Democrat theater on full display, playing emotional games with the American public. More fear-mongering, more fake news, more nonsense. And of course, total omission of key facts and all the important revelations that we've seen over the last week and a half. Let's get into this friggin' nonsense, folks. Let's roll the tape. Alrighty, friends. The Democrats are doing their thing. Democrat Congress men and women gathering together, holding a moment of silence. Please join me now in the 142nd moment of silence. An acknowledgement of the 100 and 40 officers who were seriously injured defending the Capitol on January 6, 2021. <laughs> It's all just so sickening. The faces of the Democrat establishment pretending to be so sincere in such a heartfelt moment when what you really know is going on here is propaganda. They're playing a political game. They're actors putting on this act because they know it's going to benefit them politically. Well, honestly, I don't even know if this stuff really benefits them politically. The American people are sick of the whole January 6th nonsense. But this is something that you're going to be subjected to on a yearly basis every single January 6th. The media of of course, is doing what the media does, blowing the whole thing out of proportion, lying through their teeth. All the Democrat cult members are posting tweets. It's January 6th. Oh, the horror of that day. Kamala Harris is probably going to do the same thing that she did last year. Compare it to Pearl Harbor at 9-11. Certain dates echo throughout history, including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were, and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. Which, of course, the media is following suit. They've said the same thing on multiple occasions. And really, it just takes a day that, you know, is quite serious. There's a lot of things that need to be uncovered. We should probably be having a serious discussion around capital security. But instead, Democrats turn the whole thing into a joke. It's hard to take it seriously when it's so clearly politicized. When they're using the topic in such clear, manipulative manner. It's hard to take it seriously. It's hard, honestly, not to laugh at the whole thing when they just continue need to lie through their teeth. If you're comparing January 6th, an actual peaceful protest, where the only real victim was Ashley Babbitt, if you're comparing that to Pearl Harbor and 9-11, well, frankly, you can go something yourself. Their whole January 6th anniversary is predicated on nothing but lies, built on a mountain of lies and mistruths. Here's a great example. Two years ago, on January the 6th, our democracy was attacked. There's no other way of saying it. The U.S. Capitol was breached, which had never happened before in the history of the United States of America, even during the Civil War. A violent mob of insurrectionists assaulted law enforcement. Van Joe Biden's address to the nation this year, he claims that the Capitol was breached. Breached, you say? Oh, you know, like all the video evidence that we have showing Capitol police officers unlocking doors, opening doors, holding doors open, ushering people through in a peaceful manner? Does that seem like a breach to you? Or does that seem more like a Democrat Nancy Pelosi Chuck Schumer setup? Oh, of course not. Don't question the official narrative. Joe Biden has all of the facts. 
Joe Biden is the expert on the issue. You know, the guy who literally can't even get the friggin' date right. Only consequential. Not a joke. If I can halt for a second and just say to you, the impact what happened on July the 6th had international repercussions beyond what I think any of you can fully understand. July 6th, you say, old Sleepy Joe. Interesting. Oh, Joe Biden is the authority on the issue. It's long overdue. Today is a ceremony to honor heroes of January 6th. We also recognize the late U.S. Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans. His family's with us today. Three months after January 6th, while they're still cordoning off the Capitol because threats these, by these sick insurrectionists. Joe Biden just saying earlier in the day that Capitol Police Officer William Evans lost his life as a result of these sick insurrectionists. Capitol Police Officer William Evans' life was taken by a black Nation of Islam supporter in a vehicular attack on the Capitol. U.S. Capitol Police Officer William Billy Evans, the Massachusetts native who lost his life earlier this month in the line of duty in Washington, D.C., perished due to blunt force trauma to the head. The district's medical examiner told the news outlet on Thursday Evans, an 18-year veteran of the Capitol Police, perished after a man rammed a car into him and another officer at a barricade outside of the Capitol building on April 2nd. The other officer was hospitalized with serious injuries, authorities said. On April 2nd, does that sound like January 6th to you? So you tell me that the only example of an actual deadly assault on a Capitol Police officer happened months after January 6th? during a completely unrelated event that had absolutely nothing to do with the events of January 6th, carried out by a Black Nation of Islam supporter. I mean, it's Juicy Smollier once again, all over again. Hate crimes are on the rise. Juicy Smollier was attacked by two MAGA folk wearing red hats at 2 o'clock in the morning in the freezing cold in Chicago late at night. I mean, when you're so desperately grasping for examples to make your point that you use incidences that are total hoaxes or completely unrelated, it shows that there is no friggin' credibility to what you're saying. They're lying to us. It's nothing but constant lies. The whole January insurrection narrative is built on this idea that Donald Trump led a violent mob to, quote, breach the Capitol to undo an election. Well, kind of hard to say that when this video exists. A strength and you have to be strong. We have come to demand that Congress do the right thing and only count the electors who have been lawfully slated, lawfully slated. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. It's all nothing but a bogus lie. And just the revelations that came out over the last week and a half involving Nancy Pelosi's office directly reducing Capitol security ahead of the event, rejecting 10,000 National Guard troops, which Donald Trump requested. I mean, we essentially have proof at this point that that's exactly what happened. Well, it shows you just how much of a lie it is. In fact, it's not a lie. It's propaganda. It's a psyop. In fact, funnily enough, on the anniversary of January 6th, there seems to be more security at the Capitol than on the day of. Oh, the irony as Capitol Police arrest Ashley Babbitt's mother on the anniversary of January 6th in Washington, D.C. for jaywalking. You murdered her inside the Capitol, now you're gonna arrest her? The whole thing was orchestrated, folks. It's no longer in question. It was orchestrated specifically so Democrats could have this day. So every single year they can continue to fear monger, they could continue to pretend as if they're the good guys fighting MAGA extremism, and they want you to so conveniently just forget the summer of violent riots which led to actual mayhem, two plus billion dollars in damages, mostly targeting African American communities, and led to multiple lost lives, police officers, former police officers losing their lives, and of course, the horrible event that we saw happen on the streets in Portland involving a Patriot prayer member whose life was taken indiscriminately. The January 6th anniversary, how I feel about it, I just don't care, and I have no interest in this dishonest, Democrat, political theater. Exactly what it is. They're liars 
It's all propaganda, they're playing their little game, and I'm just not interested. Honestly, what I really hope is for the Republican House to start playing ball, launch a real investigation, make it public, make it prime time, and on the anniversary of January 6th, every single year, put the spotlight where it belongs. On Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, on their failure or their refusal to secure the Capitol. That's what I got for you guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.